Take it. Check, I'm checking the sound right now to make sure. Is mic working? Mic's working, yep. I'm just doing a feedback here. Alright, I don't think the mic's coming through. Pause this for a second. Yeah, boy, it's working. Alright, cool. Alright, let's. um. We are, and I'm going to be recording this for an episode too, but I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to chop this up into an episode. I don't, I'm not sure if I'll keep the live stream live afterwards, but we are doing, um, let's see, there we go. Hey, we're building a, um, fishing shack today and I'll put the link in the description below once it's uh, done. Um, yep. Yeah, I'm loving the new emotes. And there's the fake death. Oh, almost died. Yeah, almost Yeah, on the previous episode when I got scared pretty bad. Um, but we are going to, I put that boat there because I get a, I'm getting, a, I'm getting the zombies spawning back up in here somewhere. Okay, whatever, dude. Okay, I can't get past him. His hitbox is, okay, his hitbox is just too close. Um, here, let me go up around this way. I'll come back up around this way. Okay. If I can jump up here. All right. So, see, I'm getting them spawned back up in here somewhere. I can't quite figure out. I don't think they're spawning here on this area. They might be. I'm not sure how well I have this lit up yet. Hard to tell on bedrock. So, there's possibly somewhere up here. I don't know. Possibly, maybe, I don't know. But they are, and then they're coming down here, and they're coming down these stairs, and so I put a boat there, and then they're coming over here. They're spawning back in here somewhere, too. Way back up in all these caves somewhere. I don't know where. But then they're coming over and... Just trying to wreak havoc, and so I've got all of my... Um, yeah, they're coming and standing here, too. I've got all of uh, my villagers sorted out, but um, they're all safe. You know, iron door here, iron doors here, so nothing can get to them. And I was going to get another cat here. Doesn't eat meat, so let's uh, come here. I need one more cat because I'm going to take a cat up. I'm going to take two of the cats upstairs. Oh, oh, he went in a boat. Okay, well, that's close enough. All right. He won't take off and follow me. That's good. And I'm going to put this fish here. And as I said, I've got the description below, or I'll put the description below. Oh. And I guess I do need to do that, don't I? There we go. Oh, hey, Vincat. Hello. Nice to see you. Thank you for joining. Um,. It's not ready yet, so I'm just, I'm getting, um, where'd the other cat go? Oh, he's in the carrots. He's hiding right there, playing hide-and-seek, getting ready to attack me, probably. So what I'm doing is the fishing shack. I've got the description in, um, or I will have the description below on the video uh, of who's, um, who did the video. So I, I always like to give props to, uh, the YouTube channels that I use. I changed my stairs a little bit. I'm raising my stairs. I added this, um, stone stairs in the middle. I didn't like it all black. It was just, um... I don't know, it just all blended together. And I didn't like it that it wasn't tall enough. So here, uh, it looks like I missed a stair. But I didn't like it. It wasn't tall enough. So uh, where is... Uh... Oh, I went all the way down. I raised the stairs up. So they're a little bit taller than they were before. Before they were... Um... So if you stood right here, they were one, two, three, four. And now I've got them one more up. So 
Um, the lights are a little bit, and the lights are more centered now, kind of, than they were before. So they're a little bit higher up. Where'd my cats go? Where'd you guys go? I don't know where they went. They're supposed to follow me up. I was I was putting a couple of cats up in the barn. Uh, barn cats. Uh, there they are. I've got a couple dogs up there, but I was going to put a couple of cats up there too. The uh, oxidation on the uh, roof of the barn is coming along quite nicely. And it's raining, so we might be able to get some good stuff in here. Where's the... Okay, there you go. Come here, little kitten. Come here, kitty, kitty. There you go. All right. There you go. You guys are perfect. All right, so I've got my dogs. Got those. There's the skeleton horses that we got the other day. That's in the previous... Well, I didn't get it on video because my OBS recording software... Well, it wasn't OBS. It was Camtasia. Camtasia, the software that I used, just would not produce it. Um, it just kept getting out of sync. And it was only like a five-minute clip. But it was just really, really messing me up. Okay, so we've built the fishing shack, and uh, the way you build this fishing shack is you build basically a 5x5 five five cube, and you put water in here, and again, I'll put the description to the video, which is an actual tutorial. I'm not doing a tutorial. Uh, you do a waterlogged chest right here. You put a sign right there. Put a sign right here. You put lava, and um, you put a mine car. You put lava... You put, uh, or you put a minecart down first. You put a chest down, a hopper, a minecart with a um, hopper in it. And then um, you put a sign down just on the side of the minecart. And then you put that slab there to keep the minecart in place. And then it's doing pretty good. Um, it's not, um, I think it's actually a little more productive. It's not, um, and you put that slab so you don't run into the lava. You don't want to fall into the lava. But it's, it's using kind of a cheat mechanics, I what I call... It's not cheat mechanics. It's uh, bending the mechanics of the game a little bit. Um, but I'm going to do a separate video because I want this recorded separate. So give me a second if you're watching because uh, I'm going to uh, do a... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to record a little bit here. Here we go. Hello and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Minecraft with Grumpy Grampy, Jason E. Johnson 3-1 on YouTube and Twitter. And we're going to be going over uh, the fishing shack and then I'm going to build up around it. I'll have the description to the tutorial in the link below. It's not mine. I didn't do the tutorial so I used it off of somebody else. But I'll always like to give props to people that did that. Uh, we are going to do that. I've already got it built. And it's fairly productive i just i just sat for just a few minutes and got all this stuff right here um i got i got um a bow i got this bow with uh mending on it which i thought was pretty awesome i have an an infinite bow that i got off the skeletons but i got this one that's got mending on it i've got a uh, you know tropical fish i've got you know uh, i got another i got i think a couple different saddles that i've already put away so some really cool stuff but my main goal is to get um mending books so what I did, and it said on the tutorial to do this, see, one of my fish has already despawned. Oh, no, they're both there. So it said if you don't want them to despawn is to go ahead and name them. So I named one of them Nemo and the other one Bob. There's Bob. Okay, so Bob and Nemo. And the way the mechanics work here is it, like I said, it's not, it's not cheating, but it's just bending the physics of the game. So what happens is when you fire at the fish shack sign the bobber you've noticed that there the bobber stays out but it's kind of like but there and then so when it hits it it auto kicks it back in because it's hitting the lava and it's like it's the kind of the mechanics of the game i'm hoping this doesn't get fixed in 118 because i'll have to start over with the fishing sack this is similar similar to one that i used to use way back on java um, but you would just do you would click at a door, like the edge of the door, and you would do that right there. And then it would auto-fish. It would just auto-fish. So this one, the mechanics are totally different than that, but what's happening then is the item, instead of going into the lava, the fishing rod is seeing the lava, and see, now it actually... See, look at that. It actually did break a little bit. It said it wasn't supposed to use up your rod, but it did a little bit. Um... 
I think, because I was doing that whole other thing. But if you just do this, it do you don't actually retract it. So you watch the fish come out. You don't actually retract it, but the lava is causing it to retract. And your item doesn't burn up, it just goes ahead and drops in because it's getting collected by the minecart before it has a chance to burn up. So that's, that's what I call bending the physics of the game a little bit. And he said in that video you could use an auto clicker. I don't know if I'll do an auto clicker. Uh, I might run, set run for an hour or so. Maybe. I don't know. But that's, um, it's working. I built it. It's working. It's giving me what I need. Um, it doesn't use up a lot as long as you're not dumb like I was and just start doing that right there over and over and over again. But eventually I'll get a mending. I'll put a mend I'll get mend I'll put a mending book on it. So what we're doing in the meantime, and this is what I'm recording for the video here. That tree is a little bit close there, but that's okay. I'll just have it move in there. So I decided to do um and I didn't fix these here. Uh, what I'm doing is building the fishing shack, and I, I'm going with a different build look. I went ahead and left this one. Uh, did I bring my other? Oh, I didn't. That's okay. Uh, I went ahead. Oh, it's getting to be nighttime, too. I went ahead, and you need to have this open sky, so we'll need to leave that open. So I'm not going to really do a roof on it, uh, but I did want to kind of make a um, protection you need some protection around here because you don't want to be standing out in the open and have a skeleton, you know, especially if you're going to AFK it. You don't want to have uh, something run up and uh, smack in the back of the head or run up and have a, a creeper run up and hey oh, and do uh, and eat, eat himself into you. Um, so what we're going to do, and I'm just going to keep building here even though it's dark. I shouldn't get too much stuff back here, but... Um, I think this design is going to work out. I think the I think I I think I uh, calculated right here. Oh, here's what I was going to do. This is my way out and back around. Whoop. I have I have this is my way out and back around here. So we're just going to do that, and we're just going to uh, keep building here. Okay. Threw me off the stairs. The stairs threw me off there. And then I'm going to do the corners. Uh, I haven't filled the corners in yet, but I'm going to do them, I think, with uh, jungle wood. I wanted to see how that looked. If jungle wood doesn't look right, I'll pick another wood. But there's a creeper over there. Oh, is that a raid guy? Hello. I might go get a... Uh, Might go get a. Uh, I'm gonna go put my fishing rod. I don't know why I have two leads on me either. Is that an illager over there? I think that's an illager, but I think it's a creeper over there too, so I gotta be careful. Let's uh, put the water down. Get the water ready for the creeper. And I can I can light this up a little bit over here too. To tell that uh. Endermen have been busy over here. Is that an actual raid guy, though? Or I wonder if uh, if I had the raid flag on. There's a spider. There's a, there's a spider boy there. Well, he must have despawned. Okay, spider. Just leave me alone. I'm eventually going to light all this up because this is going to be part of my base here. I'm going to have the wall come out here and then come across this little valley here. Get out of here. And then it's going to kind of cut off this little area here. Eventually. Um, maybe. Maybe. Um, I'm going to see what 1.18 looks like as far as um, start bases and all. And I may, I haven't decided yet, I may start all over. With 1.18, since 118 is such a big update. I may end up starting if I can find a good seed code. But I wanted to see what the uh to see what that looked like. Versus cedar versus oak. Hmm. I don't know. 
I may go with... I may go with diorite. I may go with a real... a white... white corner. I, I, we, we don't have to decide yet. I don't have to decide right now. We'll, uh... Oops. We don't have to decide. We can, uh... We can wait on that. Oh. Oh. That zombie threw me off. Uh, I heard that zombie and I was like, Oh, what is going on? And then he, but he's... He's underground. There's a big underground area underneath me here that I'm going to actually utilize for the fishing shack here. If it turns out the, the auto cooker or the auto clicker works, uh, I'll use this big cave area here and I'll include this in. I'm going to glass this in here so that you can look out over the valley. And then I'll make a bunch of auto sorting chests there for, um, for all the stuff that comes down out of the auto fisher. Um, I would show you my... Uh, I don't want to load up the Java game version, but uh, I've shown you, I've done a walkthrough video of the Clever Craft server. I probably had a hundred or more chest full, and this double chest, full of books, uh, enchanted books, just from the auto fishing. It was insane what an auto fisher, uh, an unattended auto fisher would do for you. here this will be faster there we go oh, okay see he's gonna come up in the tree right there which is okay it's okay but uh i think i'm gonna have to go get some more polished granite here maybe I may not have enough polished granite here. May not have brought enough with me to go up as far. Because originally I was just going to do a, like an accent with the polished granite. Um, I wasn't going to do this pattern here. Let me just double check and make sure I like that pattern. Yeah, I like that pattern. I was going to do like maybe one line of polished granite or like every other for like one line. And then like gray stone and then some granite and then gray stone, gray stone. And then, but then I got... I got I saw that I was like, well, let me just do this. I kind of like this uh, pattern better. I'm really hesitant about putting my bow up there, but. Okay, yeah, I missed. Hey, Mr. Billy Goat. Why they call them billy goats? They're just goats. So I've got to come up far enough. So it's a pretty big build. As far as um, oops, missed again. Pretty big build as far as height wise goes. Sure I don't fall off of here. It's getting to be a pretty massive height at this point. Bedrock, man. Sometimes bedrock just. Um, the only reason I'm playing on bedrock is so that I can play with my grandkids when they're over um, and do videos with them on the Xbox. And so you can play on the Xbox uh, pretty easily. Um, there is a llama on top of my barn. Over there. Okay. How did the llama get on top of my barn? There's no way to get up over there. Okay. Okay, that'll be tall enough for... Um, so I think if we come up that height... Maybe. I certainly don't want to fall in the lava. That would be... That would be bad. That would be really bad. Uh, I'm going to have to come on. Let me, let me put this up over here.
Yeah, I think that should do it. That should do it. But like I said, I think I'm going to run out of granite. And then I'll, like, I'll figure out what wood I'm going to put there, but like I said, I'm not sure quite what look I want. But I just wanted this one above here. Then I'll have to get back and take a look at this to make sure I didn't mess up anywhere. certainly wouldn't kill me, but don't want to take the damage. Nope, that's not right. Something, Something's not right here. Oh, that just went in the lava. Oh. Dookie. Alright, so that goes there, that goes there, and then we have that going there. Okay. Uh, email from a student. We'll get back to that in just a minute. Okay, so that... Oops. I'll put some stairs here. I may even... I may even just... Instead of having... I may uh, connect that from underground. I may figure out where this is from underground and have a tube come up maybe like right here oh no i know where i'll have it i'll have it because i want to i want to have a uh, probably right here i'll probably have a ladder or something going down for the sorter because i'll eventually have this go down because that chest if i do an afk thing on it it will certainly not um certainly not work polished granite slabs yeah i turned out because i was planning on doing slabs but i'm going to slab the top um I'll just need to um, convert those. I didn't bring enough um, scaffolding with me. Yeah, I heard a sheep. So I'm hoping that... Um, by putting the name tags on there, that that is true, that they won't despawn, but we'll see. We shall see. All right. So now... Um, I don't know if I'm going to connect this. I, I know this is not a roof, but I'm thinking about using glass... I am just going to go ahead and use the jungle logs. I really need a, uh, I really need some Elytra wings. Um, I'm, I played so much with the Elytra wings on the, uh, earlier version. I don't know. Does that look okay with the, yeah, that gives them a dark offset. Dark art, man. It's okay. It's okay. I like that. I may change them out later at some point, but I may change them out. So, didn't mean to do that. No! Now we'll do this here. Uh, we'll put that there. That one there. Here we go. Um, what am I building? I am building a fishing shack. Um, I don't have the description for the uh, tutorial. It's um, who did it? It's uh, JC Plays. I use their um, build. 
but I don't want to leave it out. See, it's this fishing shack right here. And it's pretty productive. That's, I mean, it's it's gotten me all this stuff so far, just, just after a few minutes of just sitting here. So, pretty productive. Um, and it doesn't burn your uh, fishing rod up. Where'd my fishing rod go? Well, I was goofing around with my fishing rod, but it doesn't burn your fishing rod up. It uses the mechanics of the lava here to not burn your fishing rod up. But I don't like sitting here unprotected from everything. So, especially since I haven't lit up everything here and built up everything here. And if you're going to AFK it, if I'm going to use an auto clicker, if I'm going to do an auto clicker, um, I can't sit out in the open because after a few days the phantoms will get me. Just going to check that llama. Yeah, he got... That's a trader llama, and I don't know how he got up there. I have no idea how he got up there. He's up there, though. He's certainly up there. So, yeah, that's... uh, And I'm just going to... I haven't figured out how to build the walls around this yet. Um, I think I can build walls here for protection without interfering with the mechanics. And I'll have to build up around here. For now, I'm going to have this come here, and then I'm going to do... I don't have ladders yet, but... Yeah, I know. Don't dig down. Where is it? It's somewhere here. Hello? Alright, whatever. It's there somewhere. Let me, uh... Somewhere under here, you can get, um... If you drop on down over here, it might be a little bit farther than I thought. But if you drop on down... No, not that far. It's like right here. I'm going to use... Oh, yep. See, there's the water licking. So I'm going to use this area right here that's a natural area. And I'm going to... Um, stuff spawns over here still and comes out of these caves. So I'll block this off. I'll make a doorway here. I'll make a doorway here. And then I'm going to do all kind of... I'm going to do a, like a glass frame here, like wood. Maybe... I don't know. I'm trying to decide a... Oh, yeah. It gives you treasure items, too. Oh, yeah. Uh, you get... um. Well, as far as treasure items, I think when you fit, it's whatever you normally get when you fish. Um, sat, horse saddles, um, name tags. So you get you get puffer fish, uh, trip wires, string, bones, tropical fish, name tags, lily pads, uh, leather leather stuff. You get all kinds of leather items. You get more fishing rods, uh, and then fish uh, and rotten flesh. These are some of the things. Oh, and and enchanted books. So this this is I pulled this bow out of there, which actually is a pretty good bow except the curse of the vanishing. So yeah, I'll show you it 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 works. I like the mechanics of this. I didn't know you could do this on a. This is all new because I had a different type of auto fishing on one point fourteen when I played on it, or one point eight. No, it was one point eight. See, and then it doesn't actually use your rod up because you don't retract it. See, I'm not doing anything once I cast. I'm not doing anything. My hands are off the keyboard. But the mechanics are kind of breaking the physics of the game because the bobber hits the lava and auto-retracts it and your item goes through the lava and gets sucked in by the minecart. See, it gets sucked in by the minecart right there and then deposited in here. Pretty uh, pretty neat little trick. I'm, I'm always amazed um, that people will play video games and figure out all the different game-breaking mechanics or the mechanics that do different things that weren't supposed to happen. Just always amazing that somebody has the time to so, you know. And then eventually I put I'll put mending on this fishing rod and then you can get mending on it. But this is this is usually and if you're not if you're looking for mending enchanted books, this is the way to do it. Just do this right here, just and see. And if I did an auto clicker, you just set the auto clicker for every twenty seconds. Let's see at least it does. Okay, I'm, I'm getting every like five seconds here. One, two, three, four, five. You've got to be kidding me. Did you see that? What? Where did he come from? Oh! 
that dirty little rat. Where is he? That dirty rat, did he... He almost blew everything up there. That would have been horrendous. Where did he spawn from? It's dark over here. Well, I bet maybe right there. Oh! Oh! <laughs> uh, yeah, I almost got blown up there. Oh, see? Oh, yeah, see, there's another bow with mending. I just got a bow with mending. A bow with power three, another name tag. Um, yeah, so yeah, it still gives you treasure, so it, it's worth building. Oh, and the three water bottles. Three water bottles come out of there. This didn't come out of there. I got... I, I had that separate. Oh, I did have I did have more blocks in there. So yeah, it's uh I don't know where he spawned from, and then he just come like tooling up on me there. I man, see if I was AFK. Woo! If I'd have been AFK, that would have been all over. I'd have come back and everything would have been blown up. And I'd have had lava burned everything up. That would have been crazy. So yeah, up oh, sea saddle. So you don't have to get a leather worker. Pretty awesome. It's actually pretty awesome. It's, it's a nice mechanic that it doesn't use up your mend or your fishing rod because that was the big thing on the old under one point. I think it was one point four, one point eight. It's way back when we played on um, when I played on Clevercraft a couple of years ago. The uh, you had to have mending on your rods, otherwise it just didn't work right. Oh, uh, creepers. Yeah, oh, creepers. They just... They... I guess I, I don't hate them. It just they... They're irritating. They're irritating. Because you just have to... I mean, they... Well, they creep up on you. Okay, I'm gonna go down and get some glass. I've gotta go down to my storage area. I've not finished with my stairs here. I've gotta get some more glowstone. I decided to put glowstone down the sides. I just need more glowstone, and I haven't went to the uh, nether yet to uh, do that. Oh, hello, buddy. Really, right back at you. Okay, I just gotta get some glass out of here, because I think I'm gonna build with some glass. And uh, there's my stone brick slabs. And, oh, I need some lanterns. Just gonna hang some lanterns off. The sides. I just don't know what I'm going to use to hang off. Um, I don't have jungle fence post. Yeah, I do. I've got a jungle fence post. I'm wondering if jungle wood planks would look better than the actual jungle wood. Let's try that. Let's try that. Oh. I don't need my stone cutter. Did, it, did they give me a new... Uh, did they? Oh, yeah, they did. I gotta check my new villager. I got a new villager. I do something kind of rotten. I know it's a, I, I know it's a video game. Um, hey, Dream. Um, but if I get a villager I don't like... In fact, I'll show you if I get a villager... Um, He's punch, he's quick charge. Is this the new one here? Yeah, this is the new one here. I haven't, I haven't leveled these guys up to see what... The, oh, Fortune 2. Okay, this is the new guy here. Uh, what I do is I take their bed up. And then I bring them over here. I put a boat down. The cat's in the boat right now. And then I bring them all the way down here in a boat. And I put dirt up and I drop them in the hole. And I drop some lava on them. To get rid of them. That way I don't have to kill them, kill them. I'll let the lava kill them. And then they don't get mad at me. It's horrible, I know. It's horrible. Uh, I'm gonna sleep here real quick. This is my... I'm, I'm gonna expand this room out. I just haven't... I don't know what I'm gonna do here yet. I'm just gonna expand it out eventually to... I was originally going to do storage, but I think I'm going to do storage in my basement uh, or the uh, bedrock level. I, I had to move my farm. I had to move my farm up 
I'll show you real quick what I had to do. This is for the video too. So uh, this will. I had to move my farm up because I was going to expand my sugarcane farm and my pumpkins. And I was going to, the wheat farm is kind of small right now, but I was going to expand it. And so I cleared all this out and you can see right there why I can't. They're trolling me. Yeah. Oh, here they come. So they start, they come hopping in. They were hopping to the sugarcane fields. They were hopping over here and knocking stuff out. They were they were just it was crazy. So I figured I I figured where the chunk was here, put some fence up, and then um, decided what I'm gonna do instead is go up to level four above level forty, which is where. Uh, oh, thank you. Uh, I really liked. I had never been. I this this was a this was new. Uh, these uh, deep slate. And a cobblestone slate or whatever you call it was a new uh, ore for me or a new uh, build block for me when I came back to Minecraft after three years. And I really like black. I, re I really like dark colors. And I mean, I like some of the other colors too, but it just, there was enough of it where you can make this. And um, I'm just still in the process of working. So what I'm doing is I come up here and I started, this is level 45. And of course I've got some caves here that I broke into. And uh, this is my skeleton mob here. If you've not seen this on one of my previous videos, I, I came down here. And so I'm going to clear out all this, but I was burning up my diamond pickaxe. So I'm clearing all this area out here and I'm going to make all this farm in this little section here. But this is my, uh, I'm going to go back. This is my mob grinder here, my skeleton here. And I, it's not, it's not fancy. It's just, whoa, hello. Um, but it works. And so I've got this room to protect myself because there is an open cave system right there. So I can't get any creepers in here. And it works. It's a one-punch system. And then what I do is I... Oh, I don't have any potions right now, though. I let them build up. A whole bunch build up in here. And then I throw a uh, healing potion and kill them all. They're stuck. Look at that. They're fighting. To, oh, there they go. Now they're getting in. And they go up 23. They drop 22. Do a one-punch on them. Oh yeah, deep slate. I I love deep slate. It's uh, it it's got a it really sets off nice with the stone, with the stone or even a light. Uh, what I did with the um, polished diorite, polished diorite really offsets with it, so it really gives you a nice color contrast. But what I've done on my skeleton spawner here is it it everything comes in here. And I've just got a basic little sorting machine, so my bows and this is how productive this thing is. That's bones. That's arrows. It's uh. It's crazy. I mean, it's just absolutely crazy how productive. And then so what I do here with all of the gold and chain mail is I take it and I smelt it down and I get all kinds of ingots out of it. And that's that's that stuff I've smelted. That's how productive all of the armor pieces coming off. And I just AFK it. I just come up here. I just I just come over here. I stand in this corner right here. I do that. Put that on. Walk away. Yeah, because it's got the, uh, it's like, uh, we're like cobblestone. You've either got cobblestone or stone. And then this, because uh, you can go from either cobble deep slate or uh, what what, is, what all the versions. I haven't tried the other versions yet. I haven't done it, the different versions here. So it's got the polished deep slate. So yeah, I really like it. It's, uh, so that's the polished deep slate versus the. Deep slate versus the cobbled deep slate. I mean, it gives you a lot of patterns. And wait, there's more, because that's the uh, other one there. Is that the cobbled deep slate there? Let me see. No, that's just the deep slate. Yeah. So then you have deep deep slate too. Yeah. There you go. There's not much difference between deep slate and cobble deep slate. Not much difference as far as in my view. See, it's a little bit different, but a little bit. But I really, yeah, it gives you a lot. I, I love that they added that many options into it. It's uh that 
That is what I heard the other day. I heard a pig squealing. I see I have I have there's I've got a lava block behind here and I've got these, so when they come through, the way this is set up, I didn't I did this by accident, but I've got I just have cobblestone right there. They suffocate in the brick. So then when I go back through the nether, I didn't set this up, it just happened with the uh bedrock version. Oh, with the yeah, I I set up a auto farmer for the sugar cane. It takes so long to load the nether on because I have um the nether's always taken a while to to load, but I have and I forgot to turn it off because it's just so massive. I think it's the lava that does it. Oh. I hope it didn't crash. Oh no, there it goes. Come on. It's going to send me back through. Hey, Mac! Why did my cat come through? I didn't have my cat following me. I've got my settings too high for my video. That's for... See, I have it set for... Uh, That's simulation. Hey. Yeah, I'm recording in live. Oh. Is hold, not a good time? Hold on just a second. Just yeah, no here. problem. No! Huh? Do you want me to just wait here or how long? I mean it's like super important you gotta talk right now, the right now or yeah. Okay, um, yeah, give me, yeah, give me like ten yeah, minutes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. I'll just hang out over here for the Oh, okay. Uh, da, 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 da. where is, uh, I had it. Oh, well, maybe I can't, ch oh, I can't change it. That's why I can't change it here. My sim, there's another, there's another setting on here, which is your, uh, chunk view. Did he go back through? My cat went back through. Okay. Cat went back through again. Yeah. Well, anyway, when the uh, piglins or the uh, zombie guys come through, let's see, that was fast. Why did my dog move too? Okay. I don't know what's going on. I've lost my cat. Yeah, okay. Oh, no, there's my cat. Okay. He come out of the boat whenever... Oh, I get it, because the mechanic of the boat. Um... Yeah, you're in the tunnel, tunnel system. I had We had a really big tunnel system when I played Clevercraft, but I just haven't set this one up yet, so... Okay, Dream, yeah. Um, I'm actually going to need to uh, stop streaming. Uh, my daughter's got something that's going on. And so, um, for the video... Those of you watching the video, I'm going to go ahead and end the video right here. Uh, that was the fishing shack that I'm building, so uh, I'll finish it up at some point. And, um... Wait, here we go. I'll finish that up at some point. Uh, get that done. Uh, do the wave. Oh, see everybody. Uh, oh, I need to eat too. And uh, thank you for uh, hanging out for a few minutes. Um, I have not really streamed on YouTube before. I've... Uh, always streamed on Twitch, but I think that I'm going to switch over to uh, YouTube because I get more interaction. Um, I, I definitely get more interaction here, so everybody's be it seems to be better better audience on YouTube. So I'll be uh, I'll be streaming more often on YouTube and uh, still posting my videos, and I'll check out, uh, if you've got channels, I'll check those out too. Just drop comments. If you want me to check your channels out, just drop them on my videos. I'll check your channels out, absolutely. Um, I like uh, watching YouTube videos, and I'll uh, have my grandkids look at them too because they, they love... They're the ones that got me doing Minecraft videos again because they saw my old ones from 2017, way back when, and they started watching them on YouTube. And I was like, do you really actually like this? And they were like, oh, yeah, we love this. And so started doing them again. And I love playing Minecraft anyway, so.
Oh well, thank you. Appreciate that. Yeah, I try to just make it relaxing. I'm not. I'm not hyped. I don't do hyping hype stuff. So on my videos. So, all right. So for the video, thanks for watching. Uh, appreciate it. Have a great time. Remember, be excellent to each other. For those of you watching live, I'm still I'm still here, but I'm just. Um, that's my ending for my video, so I don't have to do it on the Camtasia side. I just do it inside the recording. All right, so those of you watching uh, live, appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, thanks for uh, hanging out for a few minutes. I'll uh, I'll definitely be back on probably tomorrow. I don't know what time. I'll I'll definitely uh, probably work on definitely probably work on a more uh, consistent schedule. Now I know people are gonna join in because on Twitch I hardly ever get anybody because it's just such um, Minecraft's a tough. Um, tough uh to get people to watch over on uh twitch for minecraft but here it's pretty awesome having that many join me all right cool thanks appreciate it